If you're a writer going to the film world and you want to work with a production company writing a script, you have to be a certain sort of resilient person. You can be as precious as you like writing a novel, not a screenplay. A good screenplay writer is adaptable and not too precious. I've adapted Pride and Prejudice and you know Elizabeth Bennet is, is so close to people's hearts because she's so intelligent and fun and she gives hope to all women that they don't have to be gorgeous to get the most dishy man and richest man in Britain. They can just be interesting and funny. So we like that. And the first draft will probably be very faithful to the book. What I then do is to, is to almost physically throw the book away. Never look at the book again. She brought to Pride and Prejudice, perhaps something wasn't there, like the beginning. We had all the Bennett sisters listening at the door for this fascinating conversation that's going on between Mr and Mrs Bennett. That's not in the book. So to see that and how that is extremely visual and gives us the beginning of a film, which the book is, of course, not the beginning of a film. Anne Frank's diary was a huge challenge because I wanted to be respectful to her memory, but I wanted her to be a real person and not a victim of history and not in a way sanctified by having died of typhoid in Bergen-Belsen. So I wanted to be a real teenager with all that stroppiness and life and difficulties and rebelliousness that that entails without disrespecting her memory. But both are such peerlessly wonderful books that it was a privilege and a pleasure to work with them. Adaptation is not as terrifying as making up a story. You know, if it's a short story, there is something there. If it's a novel, there's a lot there. Adapting a really good book is like cooking with the best ingredients. The most successful adaptations I can remember watching, Last King of Scotland, Giles Foden's book. Amazingly good book and amazingly good film. I can't remember how faithful it was to the book, but both worked really well. And of course, nearly always one or other is much better. You know, everyone has their favourites. We hardly ever say what we really think. Deborah spoke very vividly about adapting a novel into a film in, in terms of being a noun switching into a verb. And so something that might read very reflectively on the page has to be movement and has to be active in a film, otherwise the audience would all just collapse in boredom. Download a script of a film you like on the internet, get the book and get the DVD of the film. Look at the script, see how a good screenwriter like Emma Thompson with Sense and Sensibility or Robert Altman with Raymond Carver's Short Cuts. If you read screenplays enough, they stop being strange forms because they're difficult to look at. They're laid out in a funny way. You don't know how much dialogue to put in, how much stage directions. It will demystify them to, to read a lot. Make it fun to read. Don't clog it up with too much explanation about what the actors should be thinking. Just give a hint. Deborah Mogar talked about how actors then interpret that script. Actually their eyes and their expressions are lifting the script off the page and it's all shown in their expressions. There are many qualities that one can bring to adapting your own work. If you've got a sort of adapter's piston, muscle in your brain, because you know the characters so well, you've lived with them for years when you're writing a novel, you can you know them to some a, a greater depth than if you were just given a novel to adapt and you can make them do more interesting things and they've got another life and also i think that the novelist can be less retentive because you're so sick of it and you're so anxious not to look as if you're being very proprietorial about your own work that actually you might be bolder adapting it than they think i'm quite a visual person and i'm quite a narratively driven person anyway and when i write a novel i do think while I'm writing it, this would make rather a good scene in a film, I'm afraid. I'm only admitting it to you. Nobody, nobody else will know.